Is it the sniffles or something else? With coronavirus concerns, many parents are showing up at the pediatrician with the slightest symptoms, and a test is the only way to determine if it is, in fact, a cold or COVID-19. Without that answer, children can't return to school or daycare, and that has some doctors' offices overwhelmed. WBZ's Louisa Moeller has the story. Good job. Okay. As kids return to the classroom, local pediatricians say they're fielding more and more calls. When they start to go back to daycare, we start to get a few more calls, and it's just kind of ramping up slowly. Children with sniffles and coughs. So normally, if the child's not too sick, if they don't have a fever and they're not too sick, we just say keep going to school. Not this year. The truth is, basically everyone who's sick right now is getting a test. Dr. Mark Blumenthal, a pediatrician at Pediatric Associates of Wellesley, says everything must be treated as if it could be COVID-19. That means kids with even mild symptoms must get tested for the coronavirus or isolate for at least 10 days if they want to return to school or daycare. And over the course of the fall and winter, Tufts pediatrician Dr. Shirley Huang says that's a lot of testing. We won't be able to test everybody that comes through and calls our clinic, quite honestly. You know, some we will send to our testing center. Some will recommend a local testing site that's closer to home. Dr. Blumenthal hopes that at-home or oral testing will arrive down the line so kids and families can stay healthy and happy. Is this sustainable? You know, the answer is it has to be. Right, because it's something we, you know, a year ago, if you had told me we'd be in this situation, I'd say we can't do that. But you do what you have to do. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.